there and get a few photos. Hi, today I'm going to be going over my art portfolio and doing an art portfolio tour. I only applied for one school, uh, Laguna College of Art and Design, and I got accepted uh, with a $9,000 scholarship as well. And so I figured I'd do an art portfolio tour because uh, I see a lot of other artists do art portfolio tours and I've always thought that they were kind of fun and helpful when I was applying for art school. Um, so I wanted to show you mine and then kind of briefly go over each piece and then kind of talk about the process and such. Hopefully this will be helpful for anybody who is considering applying there or just in general to an art school. I applied for a BFA in game art and I got into that program, which is great. I do briefly want to apologize for the lighting. It is terrible right now, and I absolutely cannot find a good place in my house that has good lighting, so... <laughs> um, but yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna show each piece in order from how I submitted it into my portfolio so you can kind of see the different pieces I put where, and then I'll just briefly, briefly talk about them um, before kind of talking more about the process at the end. I'm just making the intro short and sweet, so let's take a look. I started off my portfolio with a digital piece, um, kind of a more storytelling picture. They always advise you to start off strong and end strong, and this was one of my favorite pieces. It was actually the first piece that I ever worked on. Um, in like with the goal in mind of putting it in my portfolio. I started it I think uh, in sophomore year. I don't know there's not much to say about this piece. Uh, I really started it with the goal in mind of having very intricate line work um, as well as I really wanted to play around with colors and shading uh, with the lantern. It didn't turn out how I thought it would. You can kind of see where I started it and then I had taken like a long break and I picked it up two years later. Uh, mainly the only things I had actually done at the time were the line art and then I did the face. And you can kind of see that in the coloring. Uh, the shading is a lot more blocky, less smooth, uh, and I kind of went through when I was painting the rest and used like the airbrush tool and such to kind of make the colors blend more together, which I wish I wouldn't have done, but I was rushing with this piece. Uh, and it was a really hard one. This was one of the hardest pieces that I did. So all things considered, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The second piece that I did was Old Wart's Apothecary. This one I did in October of 2020. I can't say this year anymore, that's weird. Again, I really wanted to focus on a lot of detail. Uh, that's kind of something that I try to work really hard on in my art is um, adding a lot of details and I think it turned out pretty well. Um, there's definitely a lot of like perspective things that looking at it now, I'm like, oh, that line isn't straight or oh, that shading is completely messed up, but I think in general, all of the details kind of made it so that the errors were less noticeable. I had a lot of fun coming up with kind of a story behind this one. It feels more real, you know, it looks very lived in. I have a scarf hanging from the coat rack and lists, little tiny sticky notes with words on them and such. Um, that I think kind of add to the lore of the piece. My third piece is an oil painting that I did uh, and it is probably my favorite in my entire portfolio. I think as much as I really like my digital stuff, I was so happy with how this turned out. Um, I actually have it here. I had a lot of fun working with the contrasts. Uh, and just how vibrant the colors are. When I was actually painting it, the colors turned out a lot different than I wanted them to, but now that it's finished, I actually like it even more than how I kind of wanted the general colors to turn out, so yeah.
This was my least favorite piece to make, hands down. Um, I hated, hated making this piece. I had like this really grand idea of what it was gonna look like and it just did not turn out at all. It just turned out really messy. Uh, I used a lot of detailed lines on the trees and then not really anywhere else. And then I used like a weird glowy haze thing on the, the houses um, that I realized I put on the wrong layer. Um, <laughs> and then the background's all funky. I really hate this piece, um, <laughs> but what can you do? Um, in general, I think the perspective is kind of cool though. I, I like the angle. Uh, it looks like you're looking at a little tiny village from up in the trees, so yeah, yeah. It it was all right. It was just another piece to show that I can do, you know, different backgrounds and such, so nothing too special. So this was my seventh piece and it was just some characters that I made, some random characters. I really like the third character over the girl with the paintbrush. Um, I tried my best to really do different kind of facial features, different like noses and eyebrows and such. And I think it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with them. They're all very detailed and I tried to keep their color schemes to around like three to four colors um, to make them very distinctive. I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, my tenth piece is a process drawing of one of my D&D characters. I'm really happy with this piece. I think mainly because I'm really bad at drawing like muscular dude bods. <laughs> um, this was the first ever drawing that I did of him uh, and so finding his color scheme was pretty hard. I do recommend at least putting one piece into the portfolio that shows your process uh, of kind of start to finish of building a character, especially if you're going to apply to something like game art or animation or illustration. I think they're really interested in seeing stuff like that uh, and it really kind of shows how your brain works when you're creating a piece. definitely like my second favorite piece in my portfolio which is why I kind of put it in the end. I think it's a really strong piece. It's of my D&D character Priya. There's a lot of storytelling elements in here that I wrapped into it uh, from the actual campaign. I think it's a very strong piece because it has a lot of flow to it. I'm really really happy with this piece. Again it's one of the more like storytelling pieces. It just has a lot behind it. So my camera died so the lighting is kind of weird now. Um, I'm so sorry. So this last piece um, was another piece that has a lot of lore behind it. I am not super happy with how the coloring turned out. I wanted it to have a lot more contrast than it did, but I'm still pretty happy with it. In general, it showed shading and some background stuff as well. So that was my portfolio. I'm pretty happy with it. There are a few things that I would have changed. I would have definitely done more character pieces as well as some more like still life pieces, I think. Um, probably more digital pieces as well. But in general, I think it definitely showcased my style as well as, you know, lots of different colors and techniques that I enjoy. I am so excited. I worked my butt off. I literally procrastinated almost all of my pieces till uh, November and I made almost my entire art portfolio in November. So yeah, that was crazy, um, but I got it done and obviously it paid off uh, and I'm really happy with it. I 
was gonna like talk about some tips um, but I do I I'm having kind of a hard time coming up with ideas for tips because I think it really just depends again um, I kind of made this portfolio aimed at a very niche degree <laughs> um, but in general I guess some some main tips would be obviously showcase different mediums I mean you'll hear everybody say that as well as like I said I think adding a lot of detail to pieces especially with line art really helps uh, with like background pieces the more little story elements you can hook in there will be great I, I really recommend showing a few pieces where you show uh, your process of creating either characters or background. I'd probably put in a few more life drawings in there, um, more than I did. <laughs> um, ultimately, those are kind of just a few little tiny tips that I can think of off the top of my head. It's crazy. I remember watching art portfolio tours um, for so many years now, uh, and now that I can make one and then say that I got accepted, uh, into the school that I wanted to go to is just crazy. I'm so excited. Yeah, good luck to everybody who's applying. I hope you all have a wonderful time making your portfolios. I know I didn't. Um, and yeah, have a good rest of your day. Thanks for looking at my art. <laughs> Bye.